After a big day of rain again in the valley, still another round of some showers and storms possible Saturday, but uh, maybe not as active and as widespread. The atmosphere, instead of having a lot of moisture in it, it gets a little less in it tomorrow, so it may not be as much rain, but still, with the ground already wet, it won't take as much rain to get some areas to have some flooding problems. So still watch the rain no matter what, if it does form on Saturday. One more shot at rain is Sunday morning. There's a cold front rolling in. And right along that front, there could be a buildup of some rain or some thunderstorms maybe near or just before sunrise Sunday morning. Then we'll finally be drying out. Looks like rain chances go down very close to zero most days after that through next week. So uh, only a little bit more rain able to be squeezed out of the atmosphere here in the next couple of days. You see it's pretty dry tonight. Over the last three hours, the rain has mostly diminished. There are a couple little small showers to the south you see over in Mexico. And we zoom out, there's a couple more down there in Mexico and a little weak thunderstorm, but most of the night's looking dry. I mean, you might get a sprinkle or a brief rain shower tonight, but uh, things are looking pretty quiet overnight. Now, day tomorrow, if you have plans to be up early, temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s in the morning and maybe a little sprinkle or shower in the morning. But during the day, as we heat up, like I said, it may not be as active as the day, but showers and storms are most likely to occur about lunchtime through the afternoon hours. And there's still enough moisture. You might get a heavy downpour in spots all the way through about 5 or 6 p.m. But again, the number of showers and storms might be less tomorrow than today. But best chance of seeing something is in the afternoon. You can see the big mess of rain today. Actually, some of the most widespread rain is offshore and just to our northeast. So showers and storms around and things uh, looking pretty quiet out there this evening. Now, a future track overnight shows showers and storms around. And this is probably a little overdone because midnight it still shows some rain. If there is any rain, it's probably way up there, way down there. So future track a little eager to keep the rain going tonight. But during the day tomorrow, showers could pop up as the day goes on. Maybe a thunderstorm or two in the afternoon. Most areas maybe not as wet as the day. And then here comes Sunday morning, which now the models are a little more locked in in here on trying to roll up a couple of showers and storms, maybe with this front coming in. So if things happen to time out right here when the front comes in and the Rain still able to hold together. You might get around the st storm, some briefly heavy rain Sunday morning. This shows about four or five in the morning. But after that happens, if it does happen, there's no guarantee we'll get everything to line up for around the rain. But that's the best chance again Sunday morning. And then after that, it gets breezy and cooler. And Sunday's a day when most of the afternoon may be kind of like a, you know, like a just a cool day, maybe a little bit of drizzle, but just cool, cloudy, a breezy north wind, and then that's the end of rain chances. It should be back into some sunshine on Monday. But rainfall amounts, it does show on Saturday, still the potential in some areas to get a half an inch or more rain. These red blotches indicate more than an inch or two. So, you know, not in those specific spots, but there could be a few heavy downpours in spots tomorrow. About 40% chance for rain tomorrow, and then once again on Sunday morning, but after that, we're back to mainly dry weather the rest of Sunday afternoon going into Monday. At the coast, spring break begins tomorrow for most of you, or maybe you're Mercedes livestock show person, but it should be a quiet morning in most areas, especially at the coast. But during the day, watch out for maybe a shower or two. It builds up water temperatures in the 70s, and here are your tides out there. You see a uh, low tide in the morning, a high tide in the afternoon, but no advisories tomorrow. So first 1570 forecast after we get through with tomorrow and Sunday morning, rain chances, like I said, really dry up. Sunday should be a fairly cloudy day and a cooler day. Monday, the sun could come out next week, maybe a stretch when it stays comfortable, but the clouds may fill the sky a little more than the sun. So you may not see as much sun next week, but it won't be too hot or too cold. And uh, we'll keep tracking it coming up. Joel.